What is a computer chip? Who is Alexander the Great? Why do we need 8 hours of sleep? Which planet is the biggest? When does a solar eclipse happen? Where is Mount Everest? What, who, why, which, when, where? These are all words that usually start off as a question. And that leads us to our first prompt engineering technique, which is simply prompting. And questions are the first and easiest prompting technique that we all learn first before moving on to other techniques. So think about it for a minute. When you first used ChatGPT, you probably went into it and I'm willing to bet that the first prompt you stuck into the system probably bordered around a what question, like what is ChatGPT? And you gradually improved how and what you asked over time, right? And as you realized the possibilities, you then moved on to more sophisticated prompting like calculate this or evaluate that and so on. But for many of us, it all started with a question. And that is the prompt engineering technique that you must get and become familiar with, which again is the technique of asking questions. And when you ask questions, then you are dealing at the basic level of prompt engineering. We'll definitely get into the more complex stuff in later videos. But for now, questions are how we get to interact with LLMs at the basic level. And the easiest way to remember this technique is by remembering that it deals mostly with Ws. Who, why, what, when, where, which, etc. As you heard me rattle this off right now and at the beginning of this video. So technique number one, which is just called prompting, primarily deals with asking questions at the most basic level and then we can choose to build from there. So now let's apply that by looking at this data set. This is a data set about a retail store and total purchases of sales for each week. I will populate this into ChatGPT. I will also instruct, very important, instruct, not ask, ChatGPT to turn this into tabular format. Instructing is the next video I will be uploading, so subscribe for that. But right now, we are not instructing. We are just prompting through questions. Right, now, looking at the data, we might want to ask questions like, what are the total cells of the whole data set? And there is our answer. Which week had the least cells and which week had the most cells? ChatGPT tells us. Why are some retail cells small and some high? ChatGPT generalizes but tells us. When are cells most high? Again, we get an answer. Now imagine if this was cells made by our salespeople or team. This now brings into play the keyword who. So in that case, we could ask who made the most cells, etc. Again, the first prompt engineering technique is, funny enough, simply prompting. And questions are best for this technique. Now this technique is key because it weaves itself in so many other prompt techniques. And my goal is that you understand how the LLM treats questions and most importantly, what sorts of results to expect from the simple prompting. Because the expectation is that when you ask questions of the system is that it will typically give you short answers like yes or no, true or false, and straightforward answers like sales figures as you saw. If the questions are general knowledge and they start to use words like how, for example, these are still questions and the answer can be a bit long for these. But the idea here is that you are just telling the LLM to check its corpus of data and give you the best answer or solution or onto you based on the data we provided. But there's not much engineering there, but rather just prompting. So to recap, technique number one is prompting. And to implement it effectively, we incorporate simple questions that typically have a short ended answer. And that's it. And so that brings us to the end of this video. And just to iterate this one more time, at the base level, prompting is the first and simplest technique when it comes to prompt engineering and questions activate prompting. So when you're asking questions to the LLM's corpus of data or of the data you have given the system, you're operating at the base level of prompting. That's it. And so I trust that you're clear on all of that. So for now, let's head over to the comment section and answer me this simple question. What was your very first prompt that you typed into ChatGPT? And again, I'm willing to bet that to get our feet wet, we probably started with the words from one of the W list. What, who, why, which, when, where. But if not, it's all good. So head on down to the comment section and let's scrutinize this idea because there are many, many more to come. And today was just the first. In the next video, 
we will move on to giving instructions, which is another technique we can use to work with LLMs. Because you see, asking questions is powerful, but it also leaves so much to be desired. So let's enrich questions with the next technique, which is giving instructions. And we will talk about what all of that is about in the next video. So that video will be available in the top right corner over here, and it will be linked as a first link in the description of this video as well. I hope that this conversation was interesting and if so, please don't forget to give me my virtual hug or high five. And by that, I mean subscribe and leave a like and also share with me your first prompt as we discuss in the comment section. Again, the next video will be on the top right corner as a pop-up and end screen where we will discuss giving instructions to LLMs. I will see you there.